Oh my goodness, long story, I'm a big Biggie Smalls fan. So uh -huh. like, yo, he had this he had this record out like 94 called Warning with a G. Uh -huh. And so, uh, yo, he died, that was a big thing for me. Like I was, I was in Brooklyn at the time, you know, I was over in Kamasi and it was just like, it was big. So, and my name, my name is Seth Warning. Every time you think of me, you think of him, I don't know, it's sort of like tribute or whatever. Okay, you know? okay, I can dig that. Yeah, yeah. So, you from Brooklyn, where are you from? Born in Jersey, raised in Brooklyn, New York, you know, Nancy, you know, shout out, Rockway Park, Lake Flatlands, you know what I mean? I forget you, sure. but um, yeah, yeah, so I'm out here in Cali now, out here in Riverside. Um, uh, do you like the, the, the West Coast music or do you like uh, East Coast yeah. Um, yeah, I, I love music in general. I, I, I like the West Coast, I like the East Coast, but um, nothing like home, you know what I mean? Nothing like home. I mean, you know, see walking on the tracks is cool, but I, you know, like, you know, it's all right. I got my Timbs on, so, you know, it's different stuff. So, who's your main influences? As far as music goes? Yeah. Um, like I said, originally Big and Smalls. Nowadays, it's more like Jay. Jay Z is like, uh, just the way he puts his words together, subliminal messages he puts in his music. Um, you can hear one in person, a lot of, a lot of different things from it. Like, that only that one person will even understand what I'm talking about. Okay, any West Coast influences? West Coast influences the game. Oh. Okay, uh, I, I like the game. You know. Snoop is cool sometimes. The random beats. Uh, we like, you know, truthfully speaking, on the business side, Ice Cube. Ice Cube on the business side. Like, you know, but he got it going. Anybody you want to see like come back out as far as rapping? You know what? Truthfully, uh, I really want to hear a good, fabulous record. Like. Fabulous, that's my bro, um, from Bed Stuy. We want to hear the Fabulous record. I want to hear something from Lupe. Lupe just came out, so that's hot. Um, it's about time for Game to drop his album, stop playing with it, you know. Um, yeah. Okay, so are you more freestyle? Are you, do you like write music? You know what? I sit down and I, I sit down and I, I write music. I sit down and I really take my time out and write. I feel like, um, I feel like it's more personal. Give you all the name with just the top of the head, freestyle verse, and really see the depth of where I'm coming from. I mean, uh, what motivates you to write? I just love music. Getting my story out there, um, you know, talking about things I've seen, places I've been, so that maybe some other cat that's going through the same thing can avoid what I went through just by listening to me on the track and on the CD. Yeah, I got a lot of collabs. I got my boy Questar, um, my boy Cam, my boy uh, Grand Hustle. Um, I got, uh, as far as producers, I'm going with this guy Classics. He's doing all of my producing. Uh, which is my fact, talking with him. Uh, and kind of made a comment and everything. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of different collabs. I got this, this cat out of this hot out in Canada. Uh, abstract, he's, he's, he's sick, you know what I mean? Uh, a lot of different cats are collabing with Mixtape coming out this summer, it's going to be huge. It's going to shut down the whole, the whole summer. It's crazy. It's like Cam, uh, I'm working with Abstract, Classics, Conflict Records, you know. Uh, it's like Cam's rolling with uh, Grand Hustle and them. Um, I still got the prolific thing going. Uh, I had to kind of revamp, reload. Um, took, took a large blow back in. Tell me about the mixtape. Yeah, I'm looking at at least 15 to 20 tracks. Just, just more than shit. You know what I mean? Just, just excuse my language. Just, just more. <laughs> just, just more than shit. You know what I mean? Just, just, just more than shit. Just, just, just wanting stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, just that real, just that, that, that hip hop. No more dance music. Yeah, for all the cats that don't know, man, I um, started Blizzard in the a few years back. Uh, strictly just wanting, just wanting on his own. Um, came out with Get Rich and Try Dying. Just a little mixtape. I kind of flipped the 50 cent joint, but um, I got things off the ground. I got things started making money, started making a lot of money, started doing a lot of shows, making a lot of money. Uh, you know, decided to expand the business, you know, uh, open things up for a lot of other artists in the area. Um, ran into this cat Stutter Boy out in Riverside, uh, Lost Thoughts out here in San Bernardino, uh, this chick in Nair out in Lancaster. A lot of different, you know, she was a female singer, but a lot of different, a lot of different cats. We was a team, was a squad the whole summer. Uh, ride or die, like 15 shows, everybody was at every show. We were shutting the place down, packed the venues. Um, we ended the show, we ended the summer off with the, um, 
in the summer jump off, I had to call us with Brian's, rented the whole building now. About 150 people showed up. It was crazy. It was, uh, it was on point. Um, you know, but, you know, just like, uh, you know, they want to get the true deal on, you know, they want to go off and uh, get greedy. You know, everybody wants, you know, want to get their own pie, their own piece of the pie. So, um, shows, you know, when I'm tour, I set it all up for them. You know what I mean? We was making money. Everybody was happy. Uh, you know, Stutter Boy, you know, when I forgot his own record out, uh, I think it was one man army at the time. You know, Lost Thoughts was getting his joint together. Um, and a big show at the end of the summer, uh, a jump off. Uh, the Carlos O'Brien's, we let the whole place out. 150 people showed up, just just deep, you know, everybody was there, showed love. Um, and after that, cast just started getting greedy, you know what I mean? Um, they started thinking that they was better than prolific. I kept reminding them, like, you know, I, I love y'all, but prolific's what made y'all, you know, like, you know. Remember, you guys came to Prolific, Prolific never came to you, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, first started with Lost Thoughts, you know what I mean? Um, I was like, look, you know, you just gotta, if you feel that way, you wanna, you know, you wanna get your own thing, you gotta go about your own way then, you know? Um, Stutter Boy got a little angry about that. I mean, Stutter Boy kind of went at it for a while, you know? Um, he says he's in Riverside, I'm everywhere, I ain't never there. But it's, um, you know, I ain't never seen him, I ain't never seen him do since, but, uh, Lost Thoughts is somewhere in San Bernardino. Last time I heard is working at AMP, you know. Um, you know, I'm still here. I'm looking still here, you know what I mean? Um, I've changed, changed the scene up, you know. Got a, got a lot of different cats doing beats now, a lot of different cats as far as promotions. Going with uh, you know, the Crush Records Empire as far as promotions. Got a lot of different financial uh, backings now. And we still here. Where, where they at? I don't know. Last time I heard Nero, she was in Pittsburgh. I guess nobody really wanted to play and stuff. And, Desert, which is crazy because I'm saying you know, casino music in the desert, so um, you know it's kind of crazy, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I'm here, we back. Prolific and T Warning, still here, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, Crush Records, we still here, Classics, 20 Crews, we still here. Um, now it's a solo, you know, um, just keep all the producers around. So, um, so I heard your music, is there like any animosity towards anyone in your I mean, not necessarily anger, but I, ha I do have like a lot of hidden messages, you know what I mean? Um, towards a lot of those cats. I mean, they, they still, they still, you know, like I said, they had nothing to do. They're, they're chilling out. Uh, they tried to run with the prolific name. They're all on YouTube, prolific TV, SBS, you know what I mean? Um, so they're trying to run with the name, trying to get, you know, trying to get famous off my name. But it's only so far, you know, a and will take you before, you know what I mean, you can't really, um, you know, you can't really fund your projects no more. So, um, but you know, cats, cats will see that. You know what I mean. Cats, cats will understand who's the originator. And um, you know, I see them around. What's the best for them? Uh, you know I mean? So tell me about your solo project. Yeah, it's come out this summer. Like it's doing about 15 to 20 tracks. It's gonna be a straight. It's gonna be a mixtape. Um, gonna have it on heatthewarning.com. Gonna have it on you know, the YouTube is blowing up. Um, Facebook.com forward slash vindication. It's, it's, it's getting crazy. Um, production from, uh, like I said, Classics, Twin Crews, my boy Apollo out of Houston, um, uh, this cat named Abstract out of Canada. Uh, it's going to be crazy. Um, a lot of, a lot of up-tempo records, but, you know, got to appeal to the kids nowadays, you know, but, you know, no, no, no skinny jeans, though. That's, I, I go, there's only a certain line I can do, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. You like you better without the skinny <laughs> I think there's an age limit, you know, yeah. once you get past like 13. At least there should be. Yeah, you know what I mean, if you get past 13, I gotta cut it, cut it short. Well, what's your hottest song right now? Uh, hottest song right now is me laugh at the hate. It's a new track produced by my boy Apollo out in Houston. It's got, a, it's got a southern feel to it. It's just how I feel, you know, I got a, um, it's like a real positive joint to my little, real positive things. Um, you know, just overcoming obstacles. Nobody talks you crazy, don't let nobody hold you down, just laugh at it, keep it pushing, you know, push off your shoulders and get out. Now, are you going to be performing that song at the Western Conference? No, no, no. no. Uh, laugh at the Haters will be performed at the Western Conference. It's going to go crazy. I got a lot of people checking out that track, checking out that record. It's, yeah, everybody ready for it, they're ready for the mixtape. Uh, it's not a lot of hype going out for it right now. Where can they find, uh, where can they listen to your music? Said youtube.com slash morning music, facebook.com slash the communication. I'm on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash morning music. I know you, uh, you 
and 22, but um, it's going down. It's going down. So. All right. Well, that's it. Um, it's Sashay Hanay with Unsigned Paparazzi. Conference May 29th, Memorial Day weekend. Keep the morning. Keep the morning. <laughs>